Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out this Razer Ornata V3 keyboard. This is gonna be a great entry level keyboard who don't do any competitive gaming or are on a budget. As of making this video, this keyboard does go for $40. Now, just because this is gonna be a budget keyboard doesn't mean it's bad. At the end of the day, it's all about skill, especially when it comes to gaming. Now for the $40 price mark, this keyboard did come with this wrist rest, which was pretty impressive at this price point. And then it has this nice keyboard with a plastic finish, nothing fancy here, but for $40, $40, I was pretty pleased with the quality although there are a lot of other ones out there that are maybe better in quality but with Razer software and everything that it comes with its ecosystem I would definitely say this is a pretty decent package for the price that you're paying for now in terms of the aesthetics of this keyboard you can see that it is gonna be a full-size keyboard it doesn't come with a smaller version without the number pad you only get this format which may be a good or bad thing depending on who you are because some people like to have a slimmer keyboard to have more more movement for their mouse area next to their keyboard that way your hands aren't so kind of widespread now Razer typically does release keyboards in various different colors sometimes a white version sometimes a pink or blue version but this one here is only going to come in the black version the build quality is going to be pretty average at best on this keyboard the style of plastics that it's using feels grainy and kind of cheap and bendable. If I do a little bend test on camera here, you can see it does feel wobbly and it doesn't feel like it's bulletproof. That's not really a problem since it's mainly gonna be sitting on your desk, but there's people out there, including myself, who really do like it when my keyboard does feel more firm. Now this keyboard is gonna be spill resistant, which means you can spill some water, tea, soda, whatever you want on it. If you do spill something on it, I would suggest just quickly cleaning out the keyboard and that way there's no liquid sitting inside of there and you don't have to worry about it breaking down on you or the liquid slowly seeping into the electronics of the keyboard. Now if we take a look at the back of the keyboard, you can see that there's some pretty interesting features here that most budget keyboards don't have. Firstly, there's gonna be the cable router, which lets you route your cable in any direction and it's gonna help you have a more organized and clean, sleek setup while using it at your desk. And it's not gonna get in the way of your mouse if there's any like cable drag running along your desk. And then secondly, you are gonna have adjustable legs, which lets you adjust the legs at two different angles, which is also typically not a normal feature you get with $40 budget keyboards. Now the cable, they definitely did not put extra money into this. It's just gonna be wrapped in this simple silicone material. It's not made of any braided materials or anything like that. And then there's also gonna be rubber grips on all of the corners and the legs of the keyboards to help prevent any of that sliding around while you're using the keyboard. Now something that I wasn't too fond of with this keyboard is gonna be the wrist rest and more specifically that it is not magnetized. So when you're actually typing on your desk, if the grips aren't exactly gripped perfectly and aligned with your keyboard, it is gonna start slipping around. And because it's not magnetized, you are gonna have the wrist rests slipping sometimes, leaving a little crack like so, and you are gonna have to correct it every now and then. Now the keycaps aren't gonna be anything super fancy. They are made of ABS material and the letters are laser etched onto the top of the key caps and that way the light is able to flow through and give you visibility at night. Now I did find that the keycaps were a tad bit on the slippery side, not as grippy, not as texturized. I would definitely keep that in mind that if you need that firm grip, you know, you may have to find yourself kind of trying a little harder to grip each key. However, each key is concaved, which has an angle that goes something like this. And that way your fingertips are gonna easily gonna be able to be inserted inside of all of the key Caps. Now this keyboard is not a mechanical keyboard. It is going to be a membrane keyboard, which means it has rubber domes at the bottom. Now there's definitely pros and cons to this. Some people like mechanical just because of that tactile feel and some people actually prefer a rubber dome keyboard because it's more quiet, it's sleek, and some people have just been using that for years and that's just what they're used to. And here's a little typing test for y'all to hear what this keyboard actually sounds like.
Now, in terms of media controls, you're gonna have pretty much everything you can think of on this keyboard. You can pause, play, volume adjust, everything with your media. And then if you're not satisfied with the default functionality, you can always install the software and customize everything from there. And with the software, you're able to do a lot of things like macros, shortcut adjustments, open apps, or use formulas. And you can also customize the RGB lights even further by going into their lightings tab. As you can see on my screen here, there isn't too many lighting settings that you can tweak. There's just gonna be like spectrum cycling, breathing, audio meter, which adjusts the lighting based on the audio that's coming from your computer. If you've used Razer software in the past, you know it is fairly customizable and there's a lot of features, but we're not gonna go into depth on it in this video, but just know that you are gonna have a lot of those high priority, highly sought after features that most people want in their gaming software. And the software is gonna be compatible with both Windows and Mac, so you should have most of your bases covered depending on what type of user you are. And the software is compatible with Windows. There's nothing you can do with Mac software. If you wanna see a full software review with this keyboard, I'll have that video linked right up here. And if you don't wanna use the software to customize the lighting, but by default, the only thing you can do is hold the function key and adjust the brightness by holding F11 or F12. And you can see that the brightness on this keyboard is quite vivid and I'm a huge fan of that. And the reason it does that is because of the white backplate that is built onto this keyboard, which is one of my favorite features of this $40 keyboard. So if you're looking for a awesome gaming keyboard that's on a budget with some really cool lighting effects, some ergonomics with the wrist rest and adjustable legs, then this is gonna be a solid option. If you wanna see a full software run through with this keyboard, be sure to click this video right here to see all of the info. With that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.